Hi YouTube, my name is Cameron Simpson from CS Trades 101. Thank you for joining me here today. Um, we're going to be covering um, some candlesticks today. Today is one of our lessons. Today is uh, part two. We're going to be covering um, some stock market uh, some stock market stuff today. So we'll start off on a financial advisor or a broker. So um, I promised you guys that I would uh, uh, educate y'all are a bunch of people. There's a, probably a lot of people that know this, but there's probably a lot that don't. So we're just going to assume that nobody knows this and we're just going to jump on and in. And if it's boring and you already know this, then you can just skip on to the next video. Okay, we're going to have probably about 40 of them. I'm going to be doing them on weekends only. So there'll be one to two videos a weekend. And I just want to tell everybody we've uh, just opened up a merch store. Um, you're going to be able to get Wolfpack um, gear. We're cell phone covers, we've got cups, we've got hoodies we got we got socks we got shorts we got a whole list of stuff that we got so um yeah that'll be available i'll have that uh posted up on our uh i'll make a video on that and there will be some links so we're just in the midst of putting it all together so let's jump on in here today okay we're gonna start off with uh with, i'm gonna we're gonna go through some um some history here okay so this is a bullish candlestick. This is a, these are the candlesticks. There's different types of measure uh, charts and stuff. We're just gonna we're, today we're covering the candlestick. Okay, there's a tradition and modern. The Japanese um, came up. They invented uh, the traditional um, type of candlestick. It's uh, it's usually a uh, it's a black and white, hollow or dark or solid. There's so many different slang terms for it. We're just gonna stick to the uh, the two different ones here. So traditional. These are the same, okay? The green and the white are the same, okay? So, this is the, it's not listed on here, but I'm going to go through this. This is called the body, okay? On both sides. This is the wick, okay? You can have a lower wick and an upper wick. Okay, on on a bullish candlestick, it the opening, and then it rises to the top, okay? And then it can test out further and go back and down. Same as this, the low, it can also test out the bottom and then it rises back up. Okay, so on the bearish candlestick, um, it is meant to go down. And this is black or white or solid or red. Okay, it's the bad one. Okay, it's the one that we don't want. Um, so this is the traditional the Japanese, uh, again, um, on this side, the black side. And this is the modern. Okay, when it opens up, it's usually uh, it will start as nothing, and then it could go it could go green, and then it could go back to red, or it could just go red. So this is what how it starts, and it works its way down. Okay, it usually starts at the open, and then it could bounce up and go back down. There's a, there's a variable movement uh, movements on the rhythm, and I just wanted to cover those two um, today. Today is a very very um, basic um, basic course. Um, what I'm teaching today, um, we're going to actually jump into. Um, I'm going to jump into some live um, stuff here, and we're going to actually have a look at what some stuff live looks like. So what we'll do is we'll pull up. We're going to pull up uh, some Weeble here. Weeble here. Okay. I'm just going to add microvision on here. I just wanted to go over, um, we'll just cover microvision. We're just going to go over, um, we're just using this as a, a, an example today. Okay, right now we have, it went from a green into a red. Okay, we're going to put this onto the one minute chart here. There, a little bit. I will explain these lines in another course. So right now we're getting a bit of a sellout. And that's what's happening. Okay, um, this is MVIS, microvision is at 13.8 or 2.8, we're minus 4.21% today. Okay, we're gonna, um, when these two lines cross, it's when the blue crosses over top of the uh, purple. So the MA crosses with the EMA, which turns into a green. And that's what happens when that signal crosses. See how it's tested? It tested that out and went back down. It, a green can always go back down, it's testing it right now. Okay, so we'll see if this turns into, um, if it goes any lower, it's going to switch into a red, but it's not. It's going to push up. I can already tell by these line charts, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll go through all that in like the third or fourth um, part of this course, probably next week. So that's how you can read the chart ahead of time, 
and um, we're seeing a bit of a push here. We're pushing $13.35. So what we need to do is that we need to bust this $13.36 right now. If we can get above that, that's that, that would be um, the line of resistance. And it's still testing it. So it's drove it back down. So yeah, it didn't make it. So we'll see just for a couple seconds here what happens. This is, uh, um, everything's in the red today. It's not that good of a day. Um, we're just using this purely for an example today. Yeah, it's not a good day to be, it's a good day to be buying stocks. It's not a good day to be selling. And Microvision hasn't been doing that good lately. It's been doing a pretty, pretty much of a sell-off. Let's just have a look here. Yeah, it hasn't been doing that good. We had a bit of a run here. This is a nice little run here. Um, must have been pre-hours or the, yeah, it must have been Friday. So blow this back up so we can have a better chance of looking at it. See that we had the cross over here? The MA, crossed over the MA, which is a sign of, um, it's uh, bullish. And we're going to um, get in some other stuff. There's some cool stuff coming up, uh, coming up in the next couple weeks here. Yeah, we're gonna get a bit of a run here. Perfect for you guys that are holding um, uh, micro micro vision. Okay, so it's already tested that level right there. That's what that wick hit before. See, and we're gonna bump past that. It's, it's having, it's having a, it's consolidating right now we're just getting enough uh, volume in to see if it'll push that nope it's not no it drove it back down there's not enough volume right now to push that up that's what the problem is it's all about volume yeah Ooh. ouch yeah that's what happens <laughs> that's what happens when you don't have enough volume compared to the sellout Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, we've already been in this one. Now we're in seven minutes here. I just wanted to say thank you for joining me today. And um, I wanted to give you $10 uh, free Canadian cash. You can use my broker at the end, minimum of $100 deposit, and you can make yourself $10 Canadian. You can save that money or you can put it towards stocks. It doesn't matter. The referral code is at the end. And there's a Twitter account facebook you guys can follow me on that and you can ask me lots of questions and stuff um i want you both to have a good day okay you guys will pack you keep it real today okay and i will see you guys tomorrow and uh it looks like everything's on sale so if you're into buying stocks today's a good day to buy stocks have a good day